The new airship is the latest in aviation technology. The new blimp has new avionic system. It holds an about additional 100,000 cubic feet of helium. It's longer, it's faster, it's bigger, it's better. The old Goodyear blimp is 192 feet long, and the new Goodyear blimp is 246 feet long. The new ships are called semi-rigid airships, so they have a structure inside. The old blimps are literally a blimp, it's almost like a balloon that is steerable. Right behind me is the new Goodyear blimp, which we've been in the process of engineering and planning work since somewhere around 2007 or so. Building, in particular building this airship, we start with laying uh, fixtures on the ground. We have 13 different frame sections into the structure. We insert uh, tensioning cables through the frame structure to hold the frame tight. And then from there we suspend the airship frame from the ceiling. And then from there we take the envelope and we open it up kind of like a big fish and just kind of slide it. It's like putting your socks on. Just slide it over your foot. So we slide the envelope right over top of the structure and there's about 5,000 different attach points on the envelope. Uh, where it attaches to the structure. The envelope itself is a Tedlar polyester fabric and it's a polyurethane coating that seals the layers together, which is a, about a 1.5 mil fabric. It's very thin, almost like a sheet of tissue paper. It also makes a very good barrier for the helium, which is a very small molecule, so it's our helium barrier. And then on the outside, we add the control surfaces, we add the engines, we put the pasture gondola on, stick the landing gear on, and then after that, we put helium inside of it. We also clean the helium too, we'll purify and clean it. The airship without helium weighs about 19,000 pounds. Uh, so in order to maintain the helium at a very high purity uh, throughout the life of the airship, often we have to purify that helium using this machine here. Generally, if we get purity below about 97.5%, uh, we have a significant loss of lift and we'd like to bring that back up as close or, or even above 99% if we possibly can. Usually the biggest contaminant in the helium is moisture, water vapor. So as it cycles through the machine, it pulls the water vapor out and we have a five gallon bucket behind it with an outflow hose. And a lot of times we'll get two or three five gallon buckets full of water. The engines have vector rotating props. The airship actually lands and takes off like a helicopter. It can also kind of hover in the air. It still can land like an airplane, but it also has the ability to hover. So with that ability to hover, it can come straight down and straight up. And then we take the airship outside and go fly. It can go 30 to 40% faster than the existing blimp. The speed will allow us to get to cities in less time frame than we did with our previous iterations. It's amazing. It's like driving a really old car your, your whole life and then getting a, uh, a BMW. There's something kind of mystical about it that you see and you're like, wow, that's cool. It's not something you see every day.